This winter, we are teaming up with the Department of Health and the Health Protection Agency to provide a cold weather alert service to support the cold weather plan for England. The cold weather plan runs from the 1st of November to the 31st of March across England. The national plan helps to raise awareness and encourage people most at risk from cold weather to take action. Winter weather is a major risk for public health. About 27,000 excess deaths occur each winter and about 80% of these are thought to be as a result of cold weather. Because of these reasons, we have put together a cold weather alert service which notifies the Department of Health and other frontline responders of the likely risk of cold weather. Our cold weather alert service comprises of four levels of response based on cold weather thresholds. These thresholds have been developed to trigger an alert when severe cold weather is likely to significantly affect people's health. The alerts take account of temperature along with other winter weather threats such as ice and snow. When an alert has been triggered it is issued to key departments across the NHS and is published on our website and through our Twitter feed. We also send out information to a large number of GP practices and age UK centres in England to raise awareness of our cold weather alert service. This is to inform people of how we work in partnership with the NHS and other government departments to keep the public safer. Before the onset of winter, the NHS services consider longer term plans towards preparing for the winter ahead. This forms part of the cold weather plan nationally and is entitled Level Zero. Now let's take a closer look at the other alert levels and how they are triggered. Level 1 is enforced all winter from the 1st of November through to the 31st of March and means we need to keep a general level of winter preparedness. During this time, social and healthcare services will ensure that there is ongoing awareness and that preparation activity takes place. A Level 1 alert will also come back into force if a higher level alert that had previously been issued is no longer needed as weather conditions have returned to normal. When we are expecting a more severe period of winter weather, we will issue a level two alert. This is triggered as soon as the risk is 60% or above for any of the thresholds to be breached. This could either be a forecast of low temperatures, widespread ice or heavy snow, or a combination of these for a period of 48 hours or more. This is an important stage for social and healthcare services who will be working to ensure readiness and swift action to reduce harm from a potential period of cold weather. At this alert level, we will send email alert notifications to large numbers of NHS staff in England. We will also display this information on our website. Once the forecast period of cold weather starts, we will issue a level three alert. This alert is triggered when we are experiencing a period of cold weather. This includes when temperatures are either below 2 degrees Celsius mean temperature or when we are either experiencing heavy snow or widespread ice or all three. Information will be sent to NHS staff and will be displayed on our website. A level four is reached when a period of cold weather is so severe and prolonged that its effects extend outside the health and social care system. A level four warning would be issued on advice from or in collaboration with our government partners. At this level, the health effects from cold weather may occur among the fit and healthy and not just in the high risk groups. For the last two winters, we have experienced some extreme weather conditions. And this year, we will be making sure we continue to provide the best available forecasts of what is going to happen. You can find more information about the cold weather plan and our cold weather alerts on our website. If you want to receive our cold weather alerts via Twitter, you can sign up to our feed. <laughs>